just want to talk about um, why Filipino women different. The first thing I want to say is because of the upbringing, it's, it's pretty much always tied to a Catholic upbringing of some description. As such, the family unit is still fairly much intact and you just have to be careful around where they sit in society because often it's more, well I say, it is pretty much the, the highest fail rates relationship wise will come from the poorest people because often the, there is nothing beyond food in the mouth so as such they don't think beyond that and I'm not saying it all, I'm saying a lot of people do not think beyond that so this is why I say I personally wouldn't recommend anybody getting into a relationship with somebody that's under 25, 30 um, because their objective is purely financial at that point. You may find the relationship develops over time but it also you've got to understand that if you're 65, 68 and a 20 something woman is looking at you as being the, uh, I don't know, you know the Brad Pitt or something take a reality check you know at the end of the day it's financial relationships develop love happens over time instant stuff is attraction attraction is often based on you're financially capable and she is attractive and that's often where a lot of these relationships rely and exist at least in the beginning it's time that changes everything else the dynamic but the point is, if you do meet somebody from the right background, and they are, even if it's financial to begin with, they will commit to the, the relationship for long term. As long as you look after them and everything else, you will find that pretty much the relationships will evolve over time. And I keep seeing the odd comment where people say, well, my, my friend, or I married a Filipina. As I've said before, you could just replace the same word with America. You know, an American, a British, or whatever. It's the same thing. A lot of it is down to poor choice. A lot of it is down to um, not analyzing things properly, not spending enough time to get to know somebody. It's very easy to be dismissive. I mean, my, I was in a relationship with my ex-girlfriend for 11 years. I have no hatred towards her, she's got no hatred towards me. It's quite simply, we were in a good match, end of. Um, I do have you know, issues relating to the fact of how she manipulates things to suit herself, but at the same time, I can understand it. I left her, I left her, I'd had enough. But at the same time, she then used the pawn in the game, which was my daughter. Um, but you live and learn. I don't sit here dwelling on the past and saying all oh, British women are this or that. What I do say is I have zero interest in British women. Um, because quite simply, A, I don't need one. B, um, even if I wasn't married, I still didn't need one. I wasn't even looking for a partner when I met my wife. I was quite happy being single. Um, but the, the ultimately, because of the way people are in the UK, I have very, very little interest. Um, something came up yesterday, which would be a prime example, where my wife brought it up because I've sort of been showing my wife and other people what to look for in media. Should have, could have, possibly, maybe, our sources. Anything that actually tells you that the article isn't true. Um, because there's nothing confirm confirming it. Nothing is fact. It is just a story. Um, but... The one that came up yesterday was a woman's. It is a woman's right to uh, feed their child um, formula milk. Now, my view on that is very simple. There's no men against it, so is it women arguing with men or what? Why? Why is it relevant to whether a woman should be? I mean, this is the this is the moronic stuff on this, and this is why. This is the stuff that's going on in the UK and in the West. While well, the Philippines, they couldn't care less. They're more concerned about what we're having for dinner tonight. In the UK, they have too much time on their hands to sit and get angry about stuff that's completely irrelevant. Formula Milk became come a target because of the lies in marketing. Um, I've seen it in Asia, big time. Your kid's gonna get taller. 
your kid's going to get smarter, your kid's going to succeed, and all, all this garbage, completely fake, and it's targeted predominantly to poor people, in my opinion, um, because they are the ones that are most likely to believe it. Now, the poor people are struggling to eat themselves and then buying expensive formula milk, yet they can breastfeed. Now, the breastfeeding milk is actually better for the child, and at the same time, it's not a case of they have a busy work schedule where they can, they've got to be in the office by 8 a.m. and blah, 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 which is often the way it's pushed in the West, then we know reality. For most people, that isn't even true. Um, <clears throat> but it was prizing money out of poor people's hands for formula milk that would have been better to give um, iron uh, to the mother for iron deficiencies, etc. I've seen it a few times in the Philippines. Uh, our neighbor, we gave a load of um, iron because I could see how <laughs> white she was. And it was the fact is, although she was breastfeeding, she didn't have enough natural nutrients in herself uh, to sustain both of them. She was, she was getting in a bad way. So we beefed her up a bit. But the point is, that is the argument on the milk. That's the reality of it. This is why it is important. It's not just a case of, well, it's, uh, it's like when they say, oh, people get offended with somebody breast milk, you know, breastfeeding in a restaurant or whatever. I've never seen anybody. I'm not being funny. I've seen people breastfeeding. I've never seen anybody complain, ever. Not once. But you know what? The media make a circus this way and that way. What I like about the Philippines is, the average woman couldn't care less. She's not bought into this garbage. She's not bought into these lies. She's not bought into the fact that the media needs to make a story. Um, they are often driven by religious belief. They're driven by a family commitment. They're driven by a family connection. But you've got to understand that when I say family, the family unit can vary beyond just you and them to their extended family, their parents, their grandparents, their uncle, their aunt, and everything else. Because a lot of people were brought up in the same house, and a lot of people relied on each other. So there is a um, reliance or commitment, which can be a commitment that is going to be life going as a debt of gratitude. But it's all about recognizing this stuff, and working with it, and understanding it. Because if you, if you spend the time and invest and understand what's going on, a lot of the time you can go around it. It's a bit like um, the financial commitment where they go, oh well, you know, we pay for her education or whatever. So, oh well, good for you. But once she gets a job, she can pay it. Yeah, but you have money. You didn't pay my education. You didn't put me through school. You're not using me as a pension fund. Um, and that's a, an example. You just confront it and just say, "It's not. My, I don't know you nothing. We're not. We're not. We're not related." Because you separate the family unit anyway. You know the family unit is their family, and then you have your family unit, which is your wife, your kids, etc. Their family unit is often to the side of that, where it's your wife, her relatives, etc. And you're sort of sitting outside of that still, because. A lot of time you still remain a foreigner for a very long time and sometimes will never be a hundred percent and that exists everywhere I mean the end of the day <clears throat> you get Phil Lambs Philippine Americans go home or whatever and they feel a lot of people feel displaced because they don't really fit in with the same uh, connections I mean I get it myself in, in Scotland I mean most of my cousins and that were brought up together so their connections together are a lot stronger than mine because I know you went back to Scotland for Christmas and stuff so the, the fact is they do have a stronger connection they don't although your family you're not at the same level because you haven't had that living out of each other's pockets scenario but it's nothing to be annoyed or bitter about it's just realistic you know then they, they it's a bit like your workmates you can't expect your wife to be best buddies with your workmates they've never she's never met because she hasn't got the same connection you have you know it's just life just life but i do find with filipino women though they're far more accepting they're far more adaptable they're far more um family oriented you know and i've seen some of seen some of the stuff related to some of the guys out in the philippines where they're husbands are 
um, suffering from various conditions, um, most of them mental, uh, a few alcoholics, but sometimes their wives will message me out of frustration and they'll talk about this or that and at the end of the day it's, it's private conversations but you can see that they will stick through the problems through thick and thin because they're committed to the, the, the marriage, they're committed to the relationship even though in the West I'll tell you what, you would have heard that door slam a long time ago as, the, as your uh, Western wife dumped and left and left a little note on the fridge saying I'm filing for divorce um, <clears throat> Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not inviting people over to the Philippines to use and abuse, because quite simply, I'm not for that at all. Uh, but what I am saying, though, is that if you're sort of half in, half out with MGTOW and just looking for a solid relationship, but worried about, you know, the complexities of relationships in the West these days, I would definitely say have a chat with somebody from the Philippines chat people people online do not commit for months I mean I, I'd recommend chatting with people online for months and then look to visit because a lot of people just travel and fall in love with somebody within two weeks and then suddenly they're like hey we got married gonna do this gonna take it's like whoa hang on a minute you have any can you name five members of her family what do you mean it's like you don't even know each other there's no connection there yet. Take your time. There is no rush. But definitely, I do find women from the Philippines a far better match for most Western guys these days. Um, and the, the bizarre thing is, you may actually get some women from the West saying, oh, well, maybe you feel like you're, a, um, <clears throat> what do you call it? Um, you're victimized, or you're this or that. You know what? The, there's a very simple word for this. Um, well, two words, not interested. That's it. There's, no, there's nothing beyond that. See, this is why I understand a lot of the MGTOW stuff is, is about simply not interested. You know, a lot of guys have been down that road, had a bad relationship or whatever, or even guys that are simply looking and thinking, I can't be bothered with the hassle because that's where I would be with a Western woman. I cannot be bothered with them. Too, too indecisive. I think that's the biggest thing, is too indecisive. Because there seems to be this drive for rights, equality, but equality doesn't fit diversity, diversity doesn't fit equality. And, and it's just like having cake, eat it, and baking the next one, expecting it for free. Um, it doesn't make sense. Now, it doesn't make sense for, for us, and it definitely doesn't make sense for them. But then it makes it much easier to just blame a lot of men for for these issues. And a lot of the stuff I look at these days, and I do question why people are even whining. Because, <clears throat> not being funny, in my industry, there is nothing stopping women going above me. Um, there's nothing, I don't see creed, color, religion or anything else when I'm doing business. It's as simple as that. It's completely irrelevant. Um, and this is why I can't understand why they have to have these disputes or push an agenda um, because if they're for equality then surely the equality is the quality of outcome not the fact that you must have I think it's Canada that's looking for a 50-50 on the um, 50 women 50% 50 women, 50% men for its government well that is not equal, equality of outcome. Who says there's enough competent women or men? That is just stupid coming up with that sort of nonsense. Um, for me, it would actually say Canada does, doesn't need a government because if you can be that selective and just say, well, we'll just get more in the cleaner because we need to make the numbers up, um, then you obviously don't need a government because you're not putting your best people forward. And it's not because men are better or women are better. It's the fact is you've removed it from that. You've, you've pushed it to men or women are more important than their ability to do the job. Spain has just got its first feminist government and the feminist government was actually pushed by the Prime Minister of Spain. And I just thought, why has feminism got anything to do with this? 
and I, I think this is the point. There is this argument and push that men are against women in some form. At the same time, like I said in the Philippines, women couldn't care less. Most women couldn't care less. The ones that do are the 50-somethings that may actually just be anti-foreigner in some cases, because some of them are. They just don't want foreigners there anyway. Um, but you won't meet one of those women anyway. You know, we're talking from a relationship-wise, they're, they are into the politics realms. They are pushing their agenda. But they definitely wouldn't have taken interest in a foreign guy anyway. They don't like him. <laughs> in the same way, and I would assume that a lot of it is because people forget a lot of Filipinos at that level have had university education, and a lot of it is from America. So they have spent time outside of the Philippines, they have got educated outside of the Philippines. Um, so they often do have a Western perspective. But the bizarre thing is that even so, they, they say a lot of this stuff, and if you asked some of the locals about it, they couldn't care less. And I think that's the difference, because you go on Facebook without these social media, how many things are pushed in front of you to try and rile you? Uh, there was something yesterday, I'm not going to get into it too much, uh, relating to a uh, MP from Bradford. Um, the, the fact is, it's pushed in front of me to try and get a rise and try and get a dispute. And the, the other point is, I, I highlighted the fact, but I'm not getting baited into it. At the end of the day, I know she'll get re-elected, because at the end of the day, the people, what she was saying will be supported by those that elect her in. And that is politics. They will not say anything that will go against the grain. That is it. And uh, that's one of the things that a lot of people forget. They'll go, well, she shouldn't be in office. They should oust her or whatever. It's like, she's from that background. That ain't going to happen. They're going to, she's going to end up with more votes. Uh, but anyway, I'm yabbering on. But yeah, I would definitely say if you're serious about a relationship or even considering one, if you're overseas somewhere else and not in the Philippines, I do recommend just chatting with people online. And I know some of the guys have mentioned about, oh, there's a lot of bad people on the, on the websites and stuff. You're not in a rush. There is still a lot of good women out there. The, the whole point is, take your time. There is no rush. And it, I mean, some of the time, <laughs> I have some friends that have some issues with relationships and I see them changing, um, like every six months, a year, or whatever, um, their partners, but then they'll go for a very similar partner to the last one, where you already know the relationship's failed because of the woman, the women they're going with. And that's my point, is if, if you do fail in a relationship, stand back and actually realize why it failed. Um, because if you don't, you're just going to keep repeating the same thing, or very likely to. But anyway, thanks for watching.